something drove the builders of the Great Pyramid to go to a very great additional trouble, not only to create this massive imposing monument, but also to lock it on to true north. And then other things, to incorporate into its dimensions the dimensions of our planet. The Serapium of Saqqara is located in the vast Saqqara necropolis, an ancient burial ground about 30 kilometers south of modern-day Cairo, Egypt. This necropolis is renowned for its numerous pyramids, most notably the famous Step Pyramid of Djoser. The Serapium itself is situated within this expansive complex, specifically nestled in the desert sands to the west of the Pyramid of Djoser. This location is significant due to its proximity to these monumental structures, adding to the historical and cultural richness of the area. The discovery of the Serapium in 1851 is a fascinating story. It was unearthed by the French Egyptologist Auguste Mariette, who originally traveled to Egypt with the intent of collecting Coptic manuscripts for the Louvre. However, he quickly became captivated by the country's ancient monuments. Mariette's discovery of the Serapium was rather serendipitous. While exploring the area, he noticed the head of a sphinx protruding from the sand. Intrigued, he began excavating and soon uncovered an entire avenue of sphinxes that led to the underground galleries of the Serapium. The Serapium of Saqqara stands as an architectural wonder, nestled within the vast Saqqara necropolis, approximately 30 kilometers south of modern-day Cairo. This ancient burial ground is famous for its numerous pyramids, including the renowned Step Pyramid of Djoser. The Serapium itself is situated in the desert sands to the west of this iconic pyramid. Designed to house the sacred Apis bulls, revered as manifestations of the god Ptah and later Osiris Apis, the Serapium consists of an extensive network of underground tunnels and burial chambers. Marking the entrance to the Serapium is a long avenue lined with Sphinx statues, similar in style to those found in Luxor's Avenue of Sphinxes. These Sphinxes, believed to have been added during the Ptolemaic period, reflect the blend of Greek and Egyptian cultures. Entering the Serapium, one would pass through what was once a grand entrance secured by massive stone doors, now removed or destroyed. This entrance demonstrates the Egyptians' ability to manipulate large stone blocks with precision. The removal of these doors has left the tunnels exposed to the elements, making conservation efforts crucial for preserving this historic site. The underground galleries of the Serapium are its most striking and extensive feature. These galleries, arranged in a rectangular layout with side chambers cut into the rock, extend for several hundred meters. Each side chamber was meticulously designed to house a sarcophagus, reflecting the site's importance through its methodical precision. Hewn from solid limestone bedrock, these galleries showcase immense engineering skill, especially considering the limited tools available at the time. Originally lit by oil lamps or torches, the dim lighting within these galleries adds to their mysterious ambience. Among the most impressive aspects of the Serapium are the massive sarcophagi housed within its chambers. Each sarcophagus carved from a single block of stone such as granite, basalt or limestone is a marvel of ancient craftsmanship. Some weigh over 70 tons and measure up to 4 meters in length, raising questions about how these enormous stones were transported and positioned within the narrow confines of the underground chambers. The precision of their craftsmanship with smooth surfaces and accurate dimensions is comparable to that seen in the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza, indicating a continuity of advanced engineering skills over centuries. The walls of the Serapium are richly adorned with hieroglyphic inscriptions and carvings, detailing the burial rites of the Apis bulls and the religious rituals associated with their worship. These inscriptions also mention the pharaohs who ordered the construction of the galleries and the burial of the bulls, providing valuable historical context. The decorations include depictions of gods and goddesses, scenes of offerings and symbolic motifs like the Ankh, symbolizing life and the Jed pillar, symbolizing stability. An interesting comparison can be made between the Serapium of Saqqara and the Catacombs of Rome. Both are extensive underground burial complexes, but while the Serapium was dedicated to the sacred bulls, the catacombs were used for human burials primarily by early Christians. The construction and transportation of the massive sarcophagi in the Serapium have long intrigued historians and archaeologists. Several theories have been proposed to explain these feats. 
One widely accepted theory is that the ancient Egyptians used a system of ramps to transport the massive stone blocks from quarries to the construction site. These ramps could have been straight, zigzagging or spiral, depending on the terrain and the specific requirements of the project. Another theory suggests that the stones were moved using wooden rollers and sledges. Workers would place the stone blocks on sledges and drag them over a series of logs, lubricated with water or oil to reduce friction. This method is supported by depictions in ancient Egyptian art showing workers transporting large statues and blocks in this manner. Some researchers believe that lever and pulley systems might have been used to lift and position the sarcophagi within the underground chambers. Though no direct evidence of such devices has been found, the concept aligns with the known mechanical ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians. The most straightforward explanation involves sheer human labor. Teams of workers, possibly numbering in the hundreds, could have coordinated their efforts to move the stones using ropes, sledges and manual force. Another fascinating structure near the Serapium is the Step Pyramid of Djosa, an architectural marvel located in the Saqqara necropolis, about 30 kilometers south of modern-day Cairo. Saqqara served as the burial ground for the ancient city of Memphis, the capital of Egypt during the Old Kingdom. The pyramid stands prominently within this vast necropolis, surrounded by numerous tombs and other pyramids, making it a central feature of the area. The Step Pyramid of Djosa was rediscovered in the 19th century by European explorers. However, it was the French Egyptologist Jean-Philippe Lauer who carried out systematic excavation and study beginning in the 1920s. Lauer's extensive research and restoration efforts over several decades significantly enhanced our understanding of the pyramid's construction and historical significance. This pyramid is notable for being the first colossal stone building in Egypt, marking a significant evolution in pyramid construction. Built during the Third Dynasty for Pharaoh Djosa by his architect Imhotep, who is often credited as the first known architect in history, the pyramid consists of six mastaba-like structures stacked on top of each other, each decreasing in size as they ascend, giving it its distinctive stepped appearance. Originally standing approximately 62 meters tall with a base measuring 109 meters by 121 meters, the pyramid has slightly reduced in height over time due to erosion. The core of the pyramid is made from rough, small limestone blocks, while the outer casing was constructed from fine Tura limestone, which gave the pyramid a smooth, bright appearance. This construction represents a significant technological advancement from earlier mud-brick mastabas to large-scale stone architecture. Beneath the pyramid lies a vast labyrinth of tunnels and chambers. The central burial chamber, located at the bottom of a 28-meter shaft, was constructed from granite and intended to house the sarcophagus of Pharaoh Djosa. The underground network includes more than five and a half kilometers of corridors designed to thwart grave robbers, with many passages decorated with blue faience tiles intended to imitate reed matting. Surrounding the pyramid is a massive limestone enclosure wall that measures 10 and a half meters high and encloses an area of about 15 hectares. This wall is punctuated by 14 gates, though only one of them is functional. Within the enclosure, there is a large courtyard known as the Heb Sed Court, used for the Heb Sed Festival, a jubilee celebration that renewed the king's reign and powers. Adjacent to the north side of the pyramid is the funerary temple, where rituals and offerings were made to honor the deceased pharaoh. A small sealed chamber called a serdab, located near the pyramid's north face, contains a life-sized statue of Djoser, with two small holes through which the statue could see the rituals performed in his honor. The Step Pyramid of Djoser is considered the earliest colossal stone structure in Egypt, and the first pyramid ever built, marking a revolutionary leap in architectural techniques. Imhotep, the architect of the pyramid, was later deified as a god of wisdom and medicine, with his contributions to architecture and medicine highly revered in later periods of Egyptian history. The Step Pyramid set the precedent for future pyramid construction in Egypt, influencing the design of smooth-sided pyramids like those found at Giza. The Heb Sed Court within the mortuary complex was used for a festival that renewed the pharaoh's power, celebrated after 30 years of a king's reign and every three years thereafter. The extensive subterranean network and the design of the pyramid itself were aimed at protecting the pharaoh's burial and deterring tomb robbers. Over the years, the pyramid and its complex have undergone extensive restoration efforts, 
particularly in the 20th and 21st centuries, to preserve this ancient monument for future generations.